fan carpet. Hello. And uh, guys, welcome to the fan carpet. Yeah, Thank thanks you. for having us. Yeah. That's okay. Thank you for joining us. It's a good carpet. <laughs> Brilliant carpet. Yeah. Yes. Yes. And I started doing musical theater when I was a kid and watching every Mary Kate and Ashley movie ever known to human beings. Me and as well. And then reciting no. them. Yeah. <laughs> you don't do them right now, I'll do it. Take I don't know. Okay, we'll start from the I've never seen a Mary Kate and Ashley movie, but they're really <gasps> great. <laughs> Your turn. Oh. <laughs> yeah, no, I, the same. I started musical theater when I was a kid. Um, and then I quit when I was like 11. Uh, because I lost my voice. And then I moved to Los Angeles when I was 17 and just started kind of working from there. It was, it was a lot of no's. I was a dishwasher for four years. No. Um, I served pies at Marie Callender's. And then I um, somehow tricked someone giving me a job. So okay. yeah, yeah. And then yeah, then I tricked someone into putting me in arrow. So now we're here. That was me, he tricked me. <laughs> you know, basically, uh, you know, my my biggest, I, I think I, I think Angelina Jolie or someone said something about um, you know the biggest advice I could give to a young actor is travel the world because mm -hmm. there's nothing more about you know I I really I mean I've been acting in theater since I was a kid but I really the, the only training I had, I've ever had has been in comedy so it's not in any of the stuff we're doing now um, but uh, but basically just just travel and listen when people are talking to you you know because that's all really that's what it is it's just you know learning different uh, mannerisms of different to, people. Yeah, talking to people, really observing. Yeah, like what we're doing right now. I'm observing you. I'm observing you. I'm going to learn from you. I'm learning I'm from taking you this with an open heart, into open mind. season three of Arrow. I would say. <laughs> you have to get used to us getting off topic. We just ramble and then we just run with it. So, yeah. I think, I, I think I'd say like you really, you really have to love it. And if you have a plan B, then you're going to go with plan B. That's, a, oh, that's great. There's just like, there's no way. There was nothing in my mind ever that was like, I'm not going to do this. And I yeah. worked at a dog shop at a dog daycare, and I was a hostess, and I worked retail, I taught yoga, and I was a nanny with yeah. a five month old that was like a saint. <laughs> <laughs> we actually go into the dog shop that she used to work at. We still go in there, but yeah. Yeah, because I have a dog. I guess that's, that's amazing advice. It's literally in my backyard of my Don't house. have, yeah. If you want, really want to do it, you have to really go for it and not have a plan B. I'm going to use that a lot now. So. I'm going to use yours. I thought that was good. Okay. You're yeah. welcome. Thanks. Okay. Basically, well, you're the one. She knows a lot about the world of the, the I don't. universe. You say this, and then I got in trouble yesterday because I was like, no, I don't. You're always reading comic books. You know so much. I'm always reading. I wouldn't say I'm always reading comic books. I'm reading right now with those Google contacts. <laughs> Just like super busy. Like, sorry, guys. Hold on. Oh, Felicity. I'm like waiting for you to like answer that question. Help. Yeah. I mean, it's um, I think we got more. Well, we got more dynamic. He's right. I think. Yeah. I think with the um, the characters in our show, what I really enjoy about learning about comic books because I wasn't really introduced to the world beforehand, um, is knowing that there's a different era of each character and it can restart, which is really cool to me, I think, because yeah. everything changes. And I think that's what they do with our show. And they sort of, with our show, they were like, we're not gonna pretend we're not a comic book. Yeah. And then they embraced that and created new things with it. And also creating new characters, like Roy Harper is going to be chosen as Arsenal. Yeah, and that's what Mark Guggenheim has said. But now, what is there, everyone's hinting at a certain character that you might become. Right. I, I don't want to say it because then everyone's going. That's going to be the everyone's going to think you're becoming someone. They don't the tell me anything. They try not to because Emily and I will will give any spoiler. That's why they don't tell us anything because we'll we'll give it away. Well, I tell you my secrets. I tell you my secrets. But... <sighs> okay. <laughs> well, I I think the the thing that I, I really love about season two is they've taken the time to. Um, you know, with, with Roy Harper, he didn't just, you know, get the suit right away and, you know, didn't mm -hmm. have this, you know, they, they really drew it out and let him go through a gamut of different, you know, horrible things through, through season two. And, and, you know, you didn't know if he was going to wake up or, or um, stay in a coma, so. Um, just looking at the back of his script. Yeah, just, <laughs> am I alive? Am I alive? No. Still coma. Yeah. But, um, and, you know, but with, with especially watching, you know, Felicity's role expand, uh, that, that was, 
that really is, you know, it's been, fun. It, it's been incredible, especially because season three, you know, someone else could come and then, you know, they, they could expand that. So it's nice to always know that there's new characters, but also they're, they're spending as much time on the relationships now as they are on the action, which, which is something to really look forward to for season three. And I think even more in season three. Oh, yeah. I yeah. mean, that's what we've been told is it's going to be, I think, a more emotional season. Em, yeah, emotional. And um, I hear the, everyone's tossing around that it's going to be a lot a, a big ball of lies. Everyone's going to be kind of caught in I'm a bunch so of lies. I'm so excited for Thea's storyline. Yeah, Thea's storyline. I don't be. know what it's going to be. I'm just so excited because that girl's, that character's got so much angst. Yeah. She's like angsty. I don't know if she's going to come right back right away, you think? What? She went to... Yeah. It's Willa o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, gosh. Yeah, do you want to move it here? Yeah. Can you help us with that? Yeah, how do we do that? <laughs> I'd love to. I'd, I'd get on the, the phone. Yeah. And, uh, Can we just, yeah, just show this to whoever and then make them move us here? What do we here? have to do? Because I love, I mean... I, we just bring our whole crew though because our crew's awesome. Yeah, we have the best crew on TV. But there is, you know, with especially with the end of season two, they, they don't, I don't wake up in or in like Hong Kong, but they in like this. But they're, you know, now I think they're going to explore a lot of the the, the storyline back whenever Oliver was was in um, Hong, Kong. Hong Kong. I so badly want to go to Hong Kong. I'm sure the fans would love it over here. Yeah, I mean the, that would uh, be, be filmed in London. There's there's always a possibility, you know. I think that <laughs> well, yeah, I mean there's it, it's could, always. You never know. <laughs> I thought you were going to make it into a song. It was really sad. I don't know that song you were singing, actually. It was film and arrow in London, something. Yeah. Mm. You don't want to do the musical, do you? You're like, not today. Probably not right now. Fair. <laughs> Later. Well, I mean, I, I always thought that with Flash, I thought for some reason you were going that, that gonna Felicity was going to go to um, yeah the shoes me taken to uh, to the net, to the other show but um, I, I think that there's always a possibility for crossover you know I, with especially with it being such I mean they are literally filming across the street from us yes, so we would literally just have to cross over and work <laughs> there and then come back it to our show it would be so cool to start yeah. a morning of shooting Arrow and then be like oh see you later and like I'm going go over the flash rock, rock yeah. across like rock style across yeah. to I mean there's always a possibility yeah mm-hmm I'm just now learning about it, obviously, with, with being on the show for the past, I guess, yeah, well, I like Jessie, year and a half. Aquaman comics were really cool. Um, yeah, it was now, you know, it, she says she doesn't read a lot of comic books. She does read it. She does read a lot of comic books. Um, I don't. I read a lot of things. But I, I, I'm right still now. learning. So basically, you know, obviously I watch the, you know, the Batmans and, and things like that. But um, Batman. but don't now Batman. it's like it's like having <laughs> having Arrow basically on TV is really amazing for the fans because instead of waiting for the month, you know, their month subscription of their comic book, they get to see it every week. So I think that that's been really a lot that's of... That's so cool. I never thought about it that way. Yeah. That's been a lot of the big kind of pull, why, why Arrow's kind of led the pack of, uh, of the, you know, now the... In, five years ago it was vampires and, and werewolves. Now everyone's trying to do a comic book show. And, you know, I think the success of Arrow is, is, is really, you know, you know paved the way. Yeah. It's the culture of comic book stores. I love going. We could spend. We we've spent hours in that yeah. um, Golden Apple in LA. Yeah, we actually have spent hours in comic yeah. books. Yeah, in, comic in that books. one in particular too. Yeah, we're just going there's like it's so bright in here. Well, it's it's funny when we walk into a comic <laughs> book store, people are kind of there like, now. Well, the, wait, yeah. what what are you doing here? And we're not doing it for attention. We're literally just going to grab comic <laughs> yeah. books. And we're just we're both like yeah. this one and this one. And this is and just like walking around, and they go, "You don't want that one," so we toss them, and then we do that again. Yeah. And there's like a whole Bible. They have this Bible of laminated pages. Laminations. <laughs> of, of all of the comic books that they have, and then the arrows, and then which ones they're connected to. Which is... Which is insane, because... Yeah. It's like, it's... Like, the Bible of comic books. Yeah, it's like this big. But, you know... I, I, I yeah. There's not many words in that. Mm -hmm. mm. Well, thank you very much for joining us here on the fan carpet. Okay. Yeah, thank you oh, so yes, much. Oh, yes, thank you for having us. Thank you. Yeah.